Hello, hello, and welcome to AI Surge. I'm your host, Alfie, and today we're going to talk about AI-powered design tools, and we will be focusing on a platform called Wizard.io. The whole design world is going crazy over this app. In the realm of UI design, AI is playing a pivotal role. It's helping designers create user interfaces that are more intuitive, user-friendly, and personalized. Whether you're a seasoned designer with 15 years of experience, or someone who's never used Figma before, this tool is going to change the way you approach design. Now let's dive right into it. So we are going to head over to wizard.io and you'll see this page. So we'll click on the sign up for free button. And once you've done that, you'll, I've already signed in. So you'll see this and it's pretty minimal and it has three main options along with any projects you've created. So we're going to create project using the second option that's generate with auto designer but this is the main flagship ai powered tool what this lets you do is type in a prompt so type in what app you want so for example if you have an idea say hot air balloon taxi app and you can choose the design style so let's go with modern and arts artsy yeah let's go with artsy and the style of airbnb i like the design of airbnb so we're gonna do that maybe uh red and white cool or pink and white pink and white all right so generate my project and this is going to give it to the ai and it's going to take a while a couple minutes at the least as you can see like there are examples that they're showing here dating app for people who are vegan and love its cake rooms. I tried this a bunch of times uh, a couple of weeks ago and it impressed me. So here it's it's loaded already. It didn't even take a minute, but there you go. It's generated the balloon taxi app, Air Taxi. Nice. So uh, this tool is perfect. Uh, for times when you had a great app idea or a website idea, but you're not really sure how to make it or how it's supposed to look, perhaps you should use Wizard Auto Designer and it'll help you generate an idea. So let's see, let's analyze this. It's given us a nice illustration, very minimal. Of course, you have to put some work into this, but this is a great start, a great first step. So perhaps we should change this. This is pretty generic. Um, how about look? Okay, so there are like a few things that you should change. You still need to put in some work, but this is perfect for the first step. So here, I think this is the uh, ticket option, calendar, what you like. This is nice. So book your hot air with a calendar, time, book now button summary this is pretty detailed so we're going to try this a few more times so generate with auto designer let's see let's come up with an idea what comes to mind a website for a marketing agency that also does ai automation okay let's try uh Let's go for purple. Purple, minimal, apple style. Let's see if that works. Okay, so I hope this works out. This tool is going to change the design world. If you've ever used Figma, you would know like there's a whole process. You need to draw wireframes and then use the, diff the shape tool or use frames and rectangles to create the first iteration of your app or website. But this does the job for you and this looks beautiful. This is better than the other AI powered website tools I've seen. This is really good. This is a great start. And you can add the copy and this can suggest the copy. So alternative text suggestions. That's great. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this works. 
explore or okay okay i think you need to type in a little more marketing agency that also does ai automation okay let's see what this suggests i hope it's a long one because that's a little short swung line uh i think it's better to use chat gpt for this part i think it's still in the early stages but in terms of design this is good it came up with a pretty consistent design i think the illustrations are ai uh ai generated because the face looks a little distorted so i wouldn't use these because the face the nose the eyes everything looks a little distorted so i think it's best to use this app for the design like a basic first step to get uh to have a basic idea of what your app or website should look like but don't rely on it for everything at least at this stage but this is good this is a good first step and i'm guessing you can export this so if you you can export it so click on the export button and you can export this to a pdf and then you can put it to one of those plugins in figma that convert uh pdfs to figma files let's see this page about ai we are a marketing agency that specializes okay this is good decent copy okay so i have a problem with the images but the illustrations but i think in terms of the categories the structure of the page it got everything right all right let's try another one let's try an example okay for messenger pages okay supply chain services for fmcg space let's try that serious and classic okay corporate holiday okay let's try this landing page okay let's see let's see what it comes out with so it takes less than a minute it's been trained on other designs other websites so the more unique your idea is the less it's going to work but this looks really good from uh at, at, at first glance this looks really good it looks pretty similar to the last uh last page so i think it's been trained on similar websites so you can you can tell it's pretty similar to the last one pretty consistent color scheme the faces the images are weird but in, in terms of structure this is good pricing is definitely something um businesses like this would have a page dedicated for that so this is good this is good all right so that is the auto designer tool well what is magic magic has a bunch of ai powered tools that are a part of wizard so we saw the first one that's auto designer but there are a bunch of others like wireframe scanner a wireframe scanner is crazy so you can select an image a can drawn wireframe take a picture of it and turn it into a prototype so i'm going to do that i'm going to select uh, an image of a wireframe from my computer and we're going to try this tool so all right so i just uploaded an image of a wireframe all right so let's see let's see what it comes up with so what's really cool about this tool is there's also an option to while it's processing there's an option I'm going to show you so it's not convenient to you know copy it from your phone move it to your laptop and then convert it to uh, to a prototype so this allows you to scan a QR code and then upload the picture you just took directly so let's see what it came up with wow this is perfect so if you can uh so the image that i used is is this one so let's compare these two so all right placeholder for an image is brilliant title text title text title text very nice So that is the wireframe scanner. 
and we have something even better. So that's called screenshot scanner. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a screenshot of a popular website. So let's use the screenshot scanner to turn screenshots into editable design mockup. So let's let's try this. Let's try this. So I've taken a few screenshots from a bunch of websites. So I've taken this, taken this. These are complicated websites. And I've taken this. So and also I've also taken Apple and Zara. So let's try. So I'm gonna upload these images. So screenshot scanner, upload this. So one, two, three, four. So I uploaded a Zara screenshot, and this is what I got. It's pretty good. It got the images, it got the logo. So this was kind of simple, but this was a complicated website. So this, St. Urbane. It won a design award, so I was really excited to see if it put if it could copy or make an editable version a version of this, but this is brilliant. So uh, it doesn't vectorize the special illustrations. As you can see, this is still an image, but that's all right. That's all right. It's good. Uh, it, it, it couldn't get this right. It couldn't get the Creative Studio website right. And I understand because the font is very special and unique. So that's all right. Here is the Apple website. So the screenshot we just made. So wow, this can help you take inspiration from other websites. So there are a bunch of other AI powered tools here like theme generator, wireframe mode, but I think you should try these out for yourself. And that's a wrap folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try out wizard and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try out a bunch of other AI powered design tools. I think these are brilliant. We'll be putting out videos related to AI tools and AI in general every week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.